So we embedded on a series of interdictions with the Peruvian special forces, from ground operations to maritime patrols, looking for drugs on the rivers. And while the authorities have had some success, the Vrai is still largely ungoverned territory. And one of the primary methods for moving drugs out of the region is by air. We joined a special operations platoon on a reconnaissance mission to find one of the hundreds of illegal airstrips throughout the countryside. What we saw blew our minds. The Durando special operations guys uh, have an intelligence tip about the clandestine airfield. From here, we're going to patrol to where the airstrip's supposed to be. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Normalmente la fuerza del orden para ubicar la pista clandestina los hace vía aérea. Hasta donde conocemos el último vuelo que ha empezado acá hace más o menos dos meses. Fighting drug trafficking in this region is just a game of cat and mouse. You build an illegal airstrip in the jungle, uh, the authorities find it, they disable it, you build it somewhere else. This is was a clandestine airstrip for the last 10 years. You can actually see it. If you look down this path right here, you could easily land a small Cessna. Entonces, eh, en la actualidad, las pistas pues, se usan cada dos meses, tres meses. Por eso que la frecuencia de vuelo ha bajado, ¿no? La policía ha tomado control, si se quiere decir, en toda esta zona. This hole, which looks like it was blown up by the Durando, the counter-narcotics forces, was actually made by the narco-traffickers themselves. So what they do is they come out here and they dig this hole in the middle of the runway so that from aerial photographs and from satellites, it looks like the runway's already been destroyed. But instead what they do is when they want to use it, they come out here two hours, they fill it back in, it's a functional runway, and they, uh, they, they land the plane and they smuggle the drugs right out of here. The counter drug guys just placed the explosives in the hole. The explosives they're using today are a combination of Semtex and good old fashioned dynamite. The next stage of the process is that they're gonna put the actual blasting caps which detonate the charge. What this guy's doing right now is the most technical part of demolition. He's capping in or connecting the blasting cap to this yellow detonation cord. So right now, these explosives are fully connected to those giant big explosives that are buried underground. And if anything was to set off this charge, we'd all be blown the fuck up. So he just lit the time fuse right here. It's burning. Now we have five minutes until this thing explodes. You can see the, you can see the fire traveling down the explosion right here. As soon as this burns to the end of the white and hits this yellow, that's when this thing detonates. Five minutes, we're out of here. in the crater from the middle of the runway from the explosive charge they just detonated. And it's about 15 feet wide and about eight to 10 feet deep. And there's four of these giant craters down the length of the runway, rendering it inoperable for a flight. The problem is it took us about two and a half hours to set up the explosive charges here. It probably take a couple of narco traffickers and a couple of farmers about an hour to fill in these holes and use this runway again.